All right, guys, welcome back. I'm just taking a look right now at the, uh, the Dubai Pro Men's Physique official list of competitors. 40 guys competing at the Dubai Pro Show this weekend. That's insane. I'm actually surprised because there's only four guys from the US doing it, and the prize money is like the largest prize money any non-Olympia show has been. I'm not sure how much it is, but I think it's like 50 grand. It looks like the favorite of the show is probably gonna be Aaron. I've seen Aaron's been out in Dubai like the last week and a half. And he looks really good right now. This is the best Aaron we've seen since 2022. But there's a lot of really, really good international guys at the show. This video won't drop till Monday, so I think Aaron's gonna take the win. Let's see if I'm right. All right, we're gonna get some arms in today, you guys. You can see no boot today. This is uh, the first day I've been in the gym without the boot. Um, I saw the physical therapist earlier this week, and did I? I did, I already mixed up my pre-workout. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mix the chaos up, you guys. You know what? You're right. I'll throw a little half, another half scoop in. Three grams of NO3 nitrates, eight grams of citrulline in two scoops. It's got all the sodium you need in there. You don't gotta shovel salt down pre-workout. It's already in your pre-workout. I love this stuff. What was I talking about? The ankle. So I was at the PT. He won me out of the boot this week, trying to push it a little bit more and. You know, surprisingly, each day this week has gotten a lot better. I also got this new apparatus called the Achilles. I'll put a video up here, right here for you guys. But it's cool because I'm able to use the mobility of these bands to help strengthen it up. And just using that machine the past three days, I feel like a significant difference. Especially right after I use it, I have a lot more mobility. I'm able to walk a lot more smooth. You'll still be hob hobbling around today, but I don't know how long that's gonna last, to be honest, you guys. I see on Reddit forums, like, I've tore my Achilles three years ago, I still walk with a limp. <laughs> That's not gonna be me. Oh, that's light. I mean, I'm not going too hard on my arms right now. I'm not going super heavy. Actually, that lie, I do go pretty super, super heavy. I just, I just train hard, you know? I don't know how to not train hard. I'm not supposed to train arms because of the division, but I can't train legs right now, so it's not like I'm not gonna... <laughs> I mean, I can't just work out three days a week. I like having big arms. I've always, always liked having big arms. My dad had big arms, and I just remember being a little kid, being so fascinated with my dad's the size of his arms. My dad used to roll his sleeves like this just so everybody can see the tricep. This is my fourth set. <laughs> On my last set, I'm gonna throw in some advanced training principles, try to pick up the intensity a little bit. I'm doing less weight, so you're gonna see me mess around my rep range a little bit. In tempos, <laughs> negative. One, two, three, four, five. Slow down, squeeze. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Squeeze down, flex hard. One, two, one, two, four, five. Squeeze, one. Uh, now we go partial, partial, full, partial, partial, full, uh, partial, partial, full, uh, partial, partial, uh. Whew. Another reason why I like to mix up tempos and rep ranges and cadences. You have to stay locked in during your set because you're counting every single rep you're staying locked in. You can't just you know, be doing straight reps and let your mind wander like we know what is possible when we're just doing regular up and down reps to let your mind go. With this, you have to stay tuned in every single rep because you're making adjustments as you go. Are you using this bench? All right. So we're gonna go on the incline bench. It's gonna keep us nice and strict on this movement. I'm gonna lighten up a little bit. Keep those shoulders pinned down. That way we can isolate those traps. Keep those shoulders prevented from rolling over. Drag it right along the body, right at the chest. Squeeze and flex. Pin those elbows right to your side. Chest up, shoulders down the back. Ooh. That's a real good isolation. We're gonna jump into some supersets, get some biceps in there. There's a standing. Dumbbell ISO curl. And when you're doing your curls, your core is engaged tight. My upper back is engaged, keeping my shoulder blades down and back because you don't want to roll over on your way down. But you don't want to swing the weight up. It takes the tension off your biceps. So if everything is locked in and engaged and stiff, you'll be able to isolate the biceps a lot more, taking out those secondary muscles that are trying to compensate.
locked in. Shoulders down and back, chest up, core engaged, good footing. Elbows are fixed. Constant tension, I'm never losing it. There isn't one second, one millisecond during this rep that my triceps aren't under tension. Mind the muscle connection. Visualize the fibers stretching on the negative. They're opening up, lock in. Imagine that blood squeezing in there, contracting as you lock out. Don't think about anything else. Oh. What's crazy, you guys, is my daughter weighs about 37 pounds, 38 pounds. And those are way lighter. Like, baby weight and dumbbell weight aren't the same. Like, uh, close. I don't know. I gotta get used to carrying it. Give, give me a 10 pounder. I gotta get used to that. <laughs> gotta keep this pump alive. That's my first beginning of my second exercise. I like to mix up my, my EAAs. Oh, that's not my EAAs, that's my creatine. My flex EAAs, my GAT, and then also my intra carbs, fast acting carbs, carbotene. Best you wanna keep this pump alive. Those fast acting carbs are gonna keep my glycogen storage is nice and full. Make sure my muscle doesn't flatten out. Keep those pumps nice and juicy. I haven't eaten all that much this morning, so EAAs and BCAAs are really good at preventing catabolic effects on the muscle, meaning when your body is in a depleted or starvation mode or hasn't eaten in a while and you don't have any glycogen storages, you gotta understand glycogen Glycogen is your first energy source your body wants to go to. After that, your body's gonna start searching for energy and it's gonna pull from you know stored body fat and lean body tissue, which is your muscle. So if you guys are in a fasted state, you guys do fasted cardio, if you guys like to work out fasted, or maybe you're even on a low carb diet, supplementing with EAAs is really, really important to help preserve that lean body tissue. You're just hurting yourself by not taking it if you are doing those things. Don't hurt yourself, please. Partials. One, two, three, four, five. Oh boy. Ah. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. I, haven't, I don't usually train arms. This gym doesn't have a ton of machines, so it's like just dumbbells and cables for arm day here. You can get creative. So, I want to do Preacher Girl. Is anybody on the high row? What? Is anybody on the high row? The high row? Is anybody using this? This is the high row. Is anybody using it? Just wanted the handle. Am I speaking Chinese? Stronger than that. I'm gonna give myself more credit. Oh, that might be too much credit. You know, I was just in the gym training arms last week. I went to another gym and there's some kids that were asking me for some tips. And one of the things I was correcting on them was when they're doing their push downs, they're all like, they're up here and they're doing it. They're up, their, sh their shoulders are shrugged up. They're rolling forward and they're just kind of trying to muscle the weight down. You know, when you're doing that, you're not utilizing just your triceps. So again, it's that posture, it's pulling those shoulders down and back keeping those chest, that chest up and the shoulders nice and relaxed. You're gonna push down from here. If you gotta muscle the weight down and you shrug up, the weight's too heavy. Keep those shoulders down, shoulder blades pinned back, upper back engaged, and that chest up. It's hard to roll. You're taking all that tension off the tricep and you're just wasting time in the gym. This one. That one. Which one are you using? 
That one. Fuck no kid. But that one didn't really go. You have a handle. You have a handle. What? 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 All right. You want me to bring the whole thing over? I'll, I'll put it right there. Still controlling my breathing. I'm inhaling on the way down. I'm gonna exhale the top of my rep. Oh. The top of every rep, I am flexing as hard as I can. Every single rep. That's how you guys can get your, your arms to grow. Squeezing that shit. Force that blood in there. Trying to get my veins to pop out of the skin. Ah! Ah! Holy shit. Yeah, awesome pump. You're getting crazy. I'm hardly taking shit, man. I feel strong. I feel full. Yup. Yup. Yep. We're gonna go into a spider coral here, face down on the incline bench. Let me see if I can set myself up for this. So I'm trying to keep the elbows under my shoulders. Roll up, elbows tight. Single arm. Walk that shoulder down and back, elbow nice and tight, and straight down. Starting to gas. Lighten up, try to finish those reps. Might be the biggest they've been. Oh. Oh. With any muscle group, the arms specifically, you really gotta focus on that eccentric or the negative motion. Like you can feel your body working hard on that negative motion just as much on that contraction. Really take pride in that negative motion. Don't forget about it. It's very easy to just drop the weight. Don't do that. All right, almost done. My, my stability is a little off, so it might look a little funky, but it is a bicep exercise. It kind of looks like I've been on a row. Ah, those are called drag curls. Really focusing on that, that stretch and that initial contraction in the bicep. Usually I can go pretty heavy on these. So you're literally just pulling the bicep right to there. That's the motion. You don't want any of this. Boom.
All right, y'all. That is a, a wrap for today's workout. That was a solid pump. Chipping away, I'm back up to 200 pounds. You know, feeling strong again. Getting most of my lifts back to where they need to be. And, uh, you know, I'm just waiting on this foot to heel and start training legs again. You know, I might be at Olympia this year. It all is dependent on when my son is born. His due date is October 8th, so it's like, what, three days before Olympia. So uh, depending if he gets here on time, I'm not sure if I'll be at the expo or not, but um, if he is here on time, I plan on being there at the expo Friday and Saturday. So if you guys come out, make sure you guys see me at the Gap booth. But right now, you guys, I'm just, you know, chugging away, trying to pack on some quality muscle again, enjoying my summer. And um, I plan on getting myself in better shape as we get towards Olympia. But uh, again, I'm not getting on stage but I want to be presentable to you guys. I don't want to look like a skinny little bitch there, so. <laughs> We're getting back after it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something new. See you guys next time. Did it look worse from the front or the back? It looks worse from the back. <laughs> hey, look, I got the same size calves as Aaron now. <laughs>